kiss for you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 3 of my video series on live camera filter app using Android studio. Alright guys so in our previous video I mean the part 2 of the video so we had done the filter view xml dot uh, xml file and now we are going to do the real work that is will that will be in the main activity dot java. So basically first of all we will initialize all the views and then bind them and so let's get started so first of all here we will have to implement uh, an interface and uh, that will be view dot on click listener and if you hover the mouse towards that you can see we need to over, uh, we need to implement the abstract method that is on click all right so we will do that later so first of all we will uh, have some uh, we will first of all initialize our camera so for that we can have uh, make sure that you use this android dot hardware although it is uh, deprecated but i have to use that okay so but uh, in the future i will be making the videos on the new camera 2 api all right so right now we need to use this old uh, camera api sdk so for that we can say camera m camera then we need we uh, now need to have the horizontal scroll view so we can say horizontal scroll view and then we need to have the private final integer and it will be permission constant and it will be 1000 let's say and then inside our set content view first of all we need to have the image view and that will be iv capture it will be image view find view by id r dot id dot iv capture and then we will have another image view that will be for the filter so we can say iv filter equal to image view find view by id r dot id dot iv filter and then we need to initialize our horizontal scroll uh, view and here we can say horizontal scroll view find view by id r dot id dot filter layout then okay so now first of all we need to check for the user permission so here we have the method check uh, permission and give okay if we have not uh, generated or granted the permission so we need to grant the permission here so, so after that we need to set this on click method so first of all we can say iv capture dot set on click listener and we will pass this similarly for the iv filter we can say dot set on click listener and we will pass this all right so now we need to create the method so we will have private void check permission and give and inside this we are first of all going to check if the build uh, is marshmallow or above so here we can check if build dot version or i think we don't need to do that in this video so you can uh, okay so i think we should do that because it is necessary otherwise it will uh, your app will crash if you have the version uh, 6 or above all right so here we can have android if build dot version dot sdk int and if it is greater than equal to build dot version codes dot m and we need to check and check self permission and here we will say manifest dot permission dot write external storage and if it is not equal to okay so if it is uh, if it is 
not equal to let me see it again if it is not equal to package manager dot permission granted and also we need to check and check self permission we also need to check for the manifest dot permission dot camera and we can say and camera is not equal to package manager dot permission granted alright then we can say and if it is not equal to permission granted Okay, so I think uh, it will have some problems, so I will just remove that. And you can, if you have already, uh, if you have the Marshmallow 6 or above, so you can go to app settings and enable the uh, those permissions. Okay, so I am not going to handle it because I feel I face a lot of problems here. Alright, so here we will have uh, we will need to have the uh, have the method like initialize and here we can create this method and inside this method we are going to initialize our um, camera so we can say camera equal to get camera instance so we need to create this get camera instance method so it will be camera c equal to null then we can try and use the catch block and inside that we can have the exception if we cannot uh, initialize our camera so here we can say c equal to camera dot open and finally we can return c all right so after we have the this m camera instance so here we now need we can have uh, the camera preview and preview equal to new camera preview and here we will pass this and m camera okay so now we need to create a new class that will be camera preview so go to new java class and name it as camera preview and now you will see that this error is gone so first of all now after we have this uh, we have initialized this uh, camera view uh, preview so here first of all we will have frame layout frame layout equal to frame layout or we can say camera preview it will be r dot id dot r1 uh, r1 camera preview and here we can check if r1 or rl 
okay so here we can check if and okay let me write this camera preview as rl cam preview frame okay so here we can check if it is not equal to null then we can say r1 rl camera preview frame dot add view and here we can pass our camera preview or you can say m preview all right so now it is it has an error because we have not initialized our camera preview okay so now go to your camera preview class and inside this camera preview class you first of all need to extend it with the surface view and you need to implement the surface holder dot callback and also make sure that you uh, implement all the abstract methods all the three methods the surface created surface changed and surface destroyed so here first of all we will have the surface holder so we can say surface holder m holder and then we can say camera and camera because we are we are going to use this camera here so now we can have the constructor so we can say public camera preview and inside that we can say context first of all we can pass this context and then we can pass the camera and so we can say m dot camera and inside this and it is having an error and it is saying that uh, let me insert super and inside this super we can have the context and after that we can say this dot m camera equal to m camera and this dot m holder equal to get holder all right and then we can say m holder dot add callback and we can pass this and then we can say m holder dot set type and the type of the surface holder will be surface holder dot surface type push buffers all right so now we will be uh, writing the code inside our d3 method surface created surface change and the surface destroyed so we will not write any code for the surface destroyed but we will write the code for the surface created created so when the surface is created we now need to have the camera par parameters so first of all we can say camera dot parameters and we can say parameters equal to m camera dot get parameters okay so this is the way of, of, of getting the parameters of the camera then we can set parameters dot set and here we can say orientation and it will be portrait mode then we can say m camera dot set parameters and these parameters we can pass it okay and then we can say m camera dot set display orientation and it will be 90 degrees then we can have m camera dot set preview display and it will be holder and there you can see we have an error so we need to try put it inside our uh, try cache block after this orientation so we can set camera display set display orientation we have set it to 90 degrees then we can say m camera dot set preview display and here we can pass our holder and it also needs to have some an io exception so we also need to put that in our try cache block or so we can just cut it and paste it here inside this try uh, try block 
set camera preview display okay and also make sure we just put all these inside our try block uh, try block all right after we set the preview display and then we can finally start our preview so we can see camera view dot start preview okay so that is the code for the surface created so first of all we uh, we uh, we got the camera parameters then after we then we set the orientation to be the portrait then we set the orientation to 90 degrees and then we set the preview display to our holder and now inside our own surface change method here we will check first of all if uh, m holder dot get surface and if it is equal to null then we can just return and if it is not equal to null then we can say m camera dot store preview and then we can also say m camera dot set preview display and it will be m holder then we can say m camera dot start preview all right so now we can put them in our try catch block all right and i think that is the code for our camera preview and also if you see on the uh, on this main activity there the now the error is removed all right guys so after this uh, what we can do okay so now we need to capture the picture so i think we can do that in our next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye